Alright, and 15 minutes starts from now. So, what I thought is I'd draw a little otter. Sort of looking over into the distance. Yeah, a little, little, little uh, inquisical sort of thing. They've got nice, they've got nice, nice big, black, shiny noses. And something that I will hopefully be able to add in later if I have the time. Obviously, they've got some nice whiskers. Just going to give him some eyelids. And some eyes as well. Now, otters have really teeny tiny ears. Their ears aren't the biggest in the world. And now I'm just going to add some. Furry little details because obviously they've got a nice sort of furriness to them. Right. So it's actually there's not a lot actually going on underneath where the uh, the mouth actually is because obviously you've got you've got these little whiskers going on here. So you've got to make some way from his nose. Obviously his eyes sort of comes down here like that. All right, so to save time, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to full work it with a pen. I'm going to get a pen that fucking works. That's the wrong size. All right. Oh, it'd help if I got a pen that works. Come on. Panicking. All of a sudden. Why do none of these pens work? What's the point of me having these pens if none of these fucking pens work? There we go. We're just going to work in some detail straight away because it's pretty much a fairly easy shape that a uh, otter has. general shape of the head very uh, very round one thing I will apologize for is uh, I've actually got um, what's the word builders next door so that's what all that fucking noise is. But yeah. So we're just going to add a bit of detail here and there. To his ears. And I think the plan is we're probably just going to want... Really helpful. Really helpful. Thanks a lot for making all that noise. Thanks. So we're just gonna it's more their body that's really furry so from the body down to the neck and like so now what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna add where I reckon the whiskers are gonna go just so that I can pin them out later. Now 
and you just want to be nice, nice and loose. Oh, well, fucking hell, nine minutes. Nice and loose, nothing too exciting. Nothing too exciting. Now I probably would say if you are going to draw this with a lot more detail you might want to, you know, use a pencil to begin with just so that you can be a lot more accurate with the design itself um, but you know, I've only got 8 minutes left um, and I'm starting to panic and do you know what happens when you panic? I'll tell you what happens when you panic you start making mistakes so the best thing is, is to do as best as you can without overthinking it. So I'm just going to add these here. Likewise here. And then I'm just going to colour these in. See what nice standing out black whiskers. Bang on eight minutes left. Okay. These aren't the best looking whiskers, I, <laughs> I will say. They're a bit, uh, A bit cartoonish, but we're going to go for that. So I'm just going to do a sort of crossover, crossover look over the nose, just to add a bit of detail from areas where it's a little bit darker. And it'll be the same. With his little eyes. Scratch those in. <coughs> so just gonna add a few more details here and there. Just so that it sort of looks a little bit more like he's a nice little wet otter that's just gone out for a swim. covering where the ear is. Right, let's take away pencil marks that I started with earlier. Now what you want to do, seeing as I've got five minutes left, Try and see if I can find a working pen to add so that doesn't work. I'm hoping this does. To add some thicker lines in. Just to enhance it a bit more. Give him a bit more of an outline on the fur. And also around the body, around the mouth. And also up on the ears as well. Um, 
Also, again, I apologise for all this noise next door, but you know, there's actually nowhere else in my house that I can film. Um, weirdly enough, otherwise I would have filmed somewhere else where it's a lot, a lot quieter. But unfortunately, I can't do that. So we have to make do with filming in my bedroom. And a few thicker ones here and there from where we think it's a little bit darker on the body, a little bit darker here a bit more of a shape up here right that's time with three and a half minutes to spare so I'm going to stop that right now three minutes 33 seconds although I'll do a quick black and white otter um, didn't particularly want to add any colour to it there you go. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Now if you did, please make sure to let me know by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe. Now this is day 65 of my Dead Fate Challenge. So if you want to go have a look at that, make sure to head over to my Instagram and my Twitter. Or you can just type in hashtag Dead uh, But yeah, until then...